after we uh, install the bottle print device on Focus Alpha J UV printer, then we can start to print the uh, job on the bottle. So I take this bottle, the spot, uh, the glass bottle for for demo. So we can see this bottle; they have a cover. So we take out the cover because this one will be a scratch print head. So we take it out, and it's blank. It's blank glass, but also the glass must do the coating before it print. And then we open the cover, and we put the bottle. At the bottom of the print head, <clears throat> and here, the diameter of the material, the device can be adjusted. Okay, we can see the lottery print device was mounted at the focus alpha jet, and before we print, we need to check. We need to know what the size for the bottle. For the bottle, for example, this bottle the diameter is a six, so we can we can also adjust the diameter, the distance between each rolling tools. We can adjust the, for different different generation with different holes to 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 get the best uh, distance of the bottle. Just be sure when you put on the bottle, the bottle is not falling down. That's enough. So then you can adjust the. The position for the distance, the gap between these two holes by the left side and right side screws, and also you can adjust the position. The top point position must be at the the middle of the white ink print head and the color print head. So you can adjust the screw at both sides. And right now, for this printed bottle, the distance between the edge to this aluminum, the distance from here to here is. 111 millimeter, and both sides the same. Okay, so after you be sure the size of your diameter and the distance between each is okay, then you need to also be sure that this one, the hole of this one, each each rolling have the fasten fasten screws. You can loosen and to move the the rolling to left and to right to suitable for your for for your bottles. Distance can move for each, and also you can still you can print the two pieces in one time. Okay, after you uh, check everything is okay, and then we push down the flat bed. Push down, moving down, and then we move the carriage out of home position to check the gap. Because right now the get the print the material is here, the bottle is on this position, but the upper limit sensor is at this position. So here is empty. So when you print on a bottle, so the upper limit sensor will not working for bottles. So you need to check up moving by your hand by, by by your eyes to check the gap between the bottle and the print head. The gap is between one to two millimeter. So you press up. Okay, so the gap right now is almost uh, two millimeter. So it's suitable for print. Okay, guys, now I teach you how to process a picture to print on the bottle. So for example, we want to print this picture on the bottle. So we do the process as before. First, we go to the layer and we clock, we unlock the layer as this. And also because we want to print the picture on the black dark dark bottle so we need to create a white layer to print on the dark material so we go to the selection and we go to the match tools we select and then we go to select inverse and we go to channel and we see here cmyk and also before we create the spot channel we must be sure the image model is cmyk color and then we go to 
select to create select the new spot channel and we select the white ink and the base so here all the same as before the more dark ink we fear the more white ink we print out so if you want to print the maximal white ink you just fear by steam wiki 100 percent and authority to put by 100 percent then we click ok so this is the the white layer because the the alpha jet cannot print the with varnish white and color by one pass print on the bottle so we just uh, no need to create a uh, varnish print varnish channel we just uh, create a spot channel for white layer is enough so when we click off the same way we can see this is the white layer and this is the color CMYK and also also be sure all the eyes we keep on and layer the eyes keep on and we save the file by tip format okay then we go to the rip software and also we load the picture We save again. Okay, so now we need to set the size we want to print because the bars are printed by 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 horizontal so we need to rotate the picture as this print and also we need to set the size the size the width is means the length the length of the uh, the width means the length of the bottle and the height it means the the rotary the rotary size of the bottle so this the lottery size head cannot uh, bigger than the bottle cycle size. So, for example, we put is twenty six, and here we add matter to fifty two, and click yes, and let's go to support channel and we open a support channel for white and varnish. We close off, choose off now. And choose the shrink for uh, water ink for uh, 0 0.08 up to requirement. And let's set as this, then click OK, and then we go to print to change it. You choose the active profile and forward output. We save the file by cap two PIM file. <clears throat> okay, now we start to print on the bottle with the lottery cylinder model. So first we go to the software, control software, and also we keep the machine powered on. Power on the machine and open the control software. And from the control software, we can see right now it is flatbed model, flatbed machine model. So we must convert to cylinder to print out the bottle because the settings difference so we go to find on the icon name the switch machine <coughs> switch printer we click on and we choose cylinder machine before we click yes to converse we must be sure there's nothing stay at the table to prevent the carriage and the the the, 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 the fabric moving to be sure everything is okay, then we go to click yes. Then the machine will convert to cylinder setting. <coughs> the cat is start to moving up and down. And move, move to the left, then back to home position.
then it's convert already and then we click exit then we can see the cylinder machine we show the cylinder machine model from the bottom here that means the machine is convert to cylinder already the setting or back to cylinder and then we go some setting here we choose not full ink who print the, the bottle the varnish cannot using so we use first we choose the the size the how many how many nozzle print how many nozzle print ink also as as I said before it's dependent on the size the cube the cube size the gap the cube gap of the material if you print a big bottle then you choose less more nozzles like <clears throat> one third or one fourth if you the small bottle small bottle we choose six or twelve or ten so that's depending on the size of the bottle the the diameter bigger then we choose the big number at twelve or ten the small the small uh, sorry the diameter is bigger then we choose a small small number the diameter damage of the bottle is bigger then we choose the small number so this is the size normally we choose six one one six for print and here we choose middle and the right keep this spot and here we choose white with varnish or as you only print white or print only color or white or varnish for print white and color is used for print on the black bottle and for print on the white bottle if you do not want embers results you can choose only color the, the varnish will not show on here <clears throat> after we do some basic setting then we can go to first install the cylinder the rotary device to the machine okay and we check all the setting before we print. First, we be sure it's your cylinder machine here. Cylinder machine, convert to cylinder model, and we go to adjust and double check. We go to setting, and here we choose the number of diameter, how many nozzles working. So for this bar, this bar, this bottle is small, so we choose one tenth. Up of the nozzle to print the middle size print to right and print with white and color because it's white the black is a black bottle no mineral and safe remember we must save all the setting after we change then we go to print and here we must check the the, the direction of the bottle the direction of the picture and then we go to task setting and we check some settings and we check everything's okay then we can press click print print First, print the white layer, then print the color layer on the top of the white layer. Okay. So we can see now the the color layer is printed out. Focus up as you will print the printer with about the focus up as you print on the bottle. It's not nice quality.
Okay, now it's printed finish. Okay, we can see the printed result. It's nice quality. Hello, master. Hello, master B. We can see the quality. No overlap and with good color rendition. Good color. And you take it on the cover, you can save by $100 for one bottle. And Hello Master. So this is the OEM design. A good nice gift for your wife, for your daughter, for your son. Thank you. So this procedure for print on bottle from Focus by Focus Alpha Jet UV printer. So if you have any overlap for print the black bottle with white ink layer first. So see here, this is no overlap. So if you have any white, white ink coming out overlap, so we can do the setting, same as print the tape, print with flatbed motion. So we go to convert switch, switch it to cylinder machine, and keep the machine under the cylinder machine model. And then we go to adjust here. And here we can also do, we choose the lottery. So here become the lottery already. We choose by lottery model. And here we can do all the settings same as flatbed as before, the same procedure and method. We do the, the step, the not, the not, the vertical, this is no need, same as flatbed. But the step, the head space and better luxury is different. Color adjust the same. The better action, head space, step, we all the all the parameters we need to align it again for only only you only used for lottery flat lottery media. <clears throat> but the number we are not changing too much. It's only between between five, maximum five or ten number, digital numbers change. For example, if if the step adjustment the step for flatbed is 60162. So if, we, if you print on the bottle, maybe just a 61, or 65 or 4 or 58, 59, like this. Only three to five digital number change, not change too much. And, this, and also this was step and head space, the same. So left to right and vertical and horizontal and the color adjust, no change, same as flat bits. The battle like action again small, changes a little bit small. Normally this is no change, but if you have overlap for printer with the battle like action on the bottle, you still need to change a little bit. So if you change the number, change the parameter from here, so all the parameters we are only used for the lottery material. So we convert, convert back to flat bits the number will be changed back to to flatbed as the flatbed parameter as before we set. So that means these two suit of parameters, one suit for lottery, one suit for flatbed. 
And these two suit up parameter, we must uh, adjust uh, se se separately, unique. And if you still have a little bit overlap, you can go to the, the setting. For example, we print this picture, we have a little bit of overlap, and then we can go to the, the spot color here. And here we can select, we can cut the indent, this for, for blooding. We can cut by 0 0.3 or 0.2 millimeter for top flip or for cut. But if you print a small words, small character, you need to reduce the number. If you print a bigger image, you can put big more, more the increase the number. So this is for also for blooding. The same as the blooding here. For the, for the rip, same as the rip from here, the spot color here, the blood in here. But here we just uh, opened it by minus 0 0.55. So if we put already from here, then here we not need, not need the set. But if you still a little bit overlap, you can still set from here. And this is also, this function is also working where for the flatbed version. When you go to the flatbed model, if a little bit overlap, you can go still go to the overlay, the spot channel, and you select this kind of setting by minus three, minus two. After you select, you must click save. For example, we put by 0 0.3 for the top, but we must uh, click save. Otherwise, if you're not working, must click save for save the parameter. Then we go back for print. So this procedure to do the do the calibration for uh, for the rotary device as step, headspace, color adjustment, and bed election, and for the spot blooding setting. So this is all the setting. The procedure and the method is same as flatbed version. So after we finish the print bottle, we want to print, print on the table on the flatbed and the flatbed version model. So we need to convert to the flatbed model. We go to a switch printer and we choose flatbed and then click yes. And keep the machine power on. Then we go to click exit. So now the machine is under flatbed version, flatbed model. We can print the tape, print the flatbed material. And the machine starts to do self testing. We can remove the bottle from the, from the jig. Then we move out the carriage. Remember before we put a tape on the top, on the bottom of the varnish printing head. So we need to press left. And then we remove the tape on the bottom of the, the carri carriage. So we put the tape for print, print the bottle, we remove the tape. When we don't want to print it with bottle, we print the flat bit. So we remove the protection tab. So the tab move out. And then we can, we can, we, we must be sure here is no have any, don't put any tabs with glue. Glue is at both sides. And then we throw away. So after we remove the tape, then we can place X home from the software to make the machine the carriage back to home position. So now also then we remove remove the, the rotary jigs device from the flat bit by loosening the four screw, two at the left and the two at the right. 
And another two holes is used for you print with another diameter that I cannot. Uh, the small diameter bottle you can move to front. This wheels I loosen the four screw two at the left and two at the right to move to the front, and then the totally device move to forward, and they adjust at the same position of the the print head. So after remove the jigs from the table, and then we can we can continue to print the flat bit. So just remember all the procedure for print the bottle and print the tape, print the flat bit material. It's difference. Thank you.